Hey everyone, this is your stimulus check update, second stimulus check update, and stimulus package update for Wednesday, August 26th. In this video, I'm going to be going over the following. First of all, I want to go over some of the positive news about the second stimulus check. I want to go over some options you may have if you're facing eviction, and I want to go over some other options you may have if you are struggling in other ways to get money to pay for food or for other things that you need to have. I'm also going to cover the first stimulus check. There's a few deadlines that I want you to be aware of if you haven't received your first stimulus check or if you've received your first stimulus check but you didn't get the $500 credit for your dependents. The IRS has said that they're going to be sending out some stimulus checks for those that missed out on their dependent credit on the first stimulus check. And in addition to that, if you missed out on the first stimulus check because you had back child support from your spouse, your spouse owed back child support and that took your stimulus check as well, the IRS is going to be making payments to those that actually were supposed to receive a stimulus check but didn't because it was taken because of back child support. Now that doesn't include everyone that had their stimulus check taken for back child support, but I will talk about that later on in the video. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Justin and I do stimulus check updates. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. And I would appreciate it that if you find this content helpful, that you hit the like button so that YouTube will share this video with others. And in addition to this, if you want two free stocks, you can get two free stocks from Weeble and I have a link to that in the description below. You have to sign up for an account on Webull, and then to get the second free stock, you, you deposit $100, and then if you want, after depositing that $100 and getting your two free stocks, you can take that $100 back out of Webull, or you can use it to invest in stocks as you see fit. But I, I left a link for that in the description below. So let's talk about the second stimulus check. Much of the news lately has been bad news and a lot of people have been talking about the skinny or the lean bill that was proposed by some senators recently. That lean bill did not include the second stimulus check and so a lot of people are worried that the next stimulus package is not going to include a second stimulus check at all. Well, if you've been watching my channel before, you know that I, I talk about focusing on the positive and being positive in the, the things that we're doing each day. So I wanna focus on the positive things that have been said about the second stimulus check. So let's first off talk about what Mark Meadows has said. Now remember, Mark Meadows is the White House Chief of Staff. He's been one of the key negotiators in this whole negotiation process for the next stimulus check. He's been kind of the, the go-to for the White House, whereas Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have been the side kind of on the House of Representatives and for the Democrats in the Senate. So Mark Meadows said, I even think that we can come up with an agreement on stimulus checks to Americans and enhanced unemployment. Those issues are not as devices, divisive as we may think. Let's at least pass what we can all agree to. And this is what I've been saying all along. They need to just pass what they agree to. And the three things that they really agree to are the $1,200 stimulus checks, unemployment benefit extension, and the eviction moratorium extension. Those are really the three key things, and those are the three things that would get Americans the most help that they need right now. So get those things done, get them in a package, and get it passed. And Mark Meadows seems to agree with that, and just saying, let's just get these things done that we already agree on. It's not just Mark Meadows that is saying, let's just get a deal done and let's get something passed. Lee Correa, a representative from California said, my job is to keep fighting to make sure that the next package of COVID relief comes to happen. In addition to Representative Correa, Representative Joe Cunningham from South Carolina said, it's been frustrating for me to watch this unfold as it has. I would encourage everyone to remain at the negotiating table and hammer out a deal, recognizing that not everyone is going to get everything they want. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. And I agree with his pleas, and let's, let's just get them back to the negotiating table. Neither side is going to get everything they want. You need to just get back together, get to these negotiations, and get something done. Another representative, Michael Guest from Mississippi said, I believe it's important to look at things we can do to stimulate the economy with things like stimulus checks. 
but also making sure that we are not continuing to add trillions of dollars of debt that will have to be paid by our children and grandchildren. And now I completely agree with this comment. We should get some more help to individuals that need it. We should get out some stimulus checks to people that need it. Those $1,200 stimulus checks is something they all agree on. Now, adding just wasteful spending is something I definitely do not agree on. If we send out stimulus checks to individuals, that's going to be a good way to stimulate the economy. And it's basically giving back money that was already paid in taxes. So it's essentially a tax break. And even if you didn't pay taxes and you're maybe on SSI, SSDI, Social Security or VA benefits, you're still eligible for that $1,200 stimulus check as long as they can come to an agreement. But they do need to come to that agreement and they do need to just compromise on both sides. So in addition to the comments that Mark Meadows recently made, he also last Saturday went to meet with Nancy Pelosi in her office and Nancy Pelosi was in meetings and couldn't meet that day. However, Mark Meadows said he's going to continue reaching out to P Nancy Pelosi and until they can actually get back to the negotiating table. So it sounds like he's at least wanting to get back to negotiations and to start working on that next stimulus package. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that second stimulus check, I wanna discuss some options that you may have if you're facing eviction or facing other financial problems at this time. So first off, let's talk about evictions. Between 30 and 40 million people could be facing evictions by the end of 2020. If you're worried about being evicted because you haven't been able to pay rent or might be not able to pay rent in the near future, here are some things that you can do. First off, I would speak to your landlord. Talk to them and tell them your situation and explain to them how you're going to be able to pay them and when you're going to be able to pay them. And maybe you can work out a deal where you're paying partial rent payments initially and then you can figure out a deal where you'll be back to full payments soon. You may be able to work out a temporary, temporary deal with your landlord. If your landlord is expecting demands that you cannot meet, there are some other options if you're gonna to have to move out. While the federal moratorium on evictions has ended, there are some other options and many states are offering um, eviction moratoriums where they cannot evict you if you live in that state. So I'm going to leave a link to a list that was compiled on nolo.com of states and which states offer eviction that have stopped evictions for right now. So I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below. So check for your state and there's a few other things that will show you what options you have as far as um, whether your, um, your state prevents evictions and whether there are other things where they can't shut off your power or other utilities um, in your state. So check that list, I have it in the description below. In addition to that list, the Department of Housing and Urban Development for the federal government also has compiled a list of some resources available for those that are having housing problems and for those that are maybe looking for reduced income rent or, or something like that. I will also leave a link to that in the description below. In addition to these resources for those that are facing evictions, I found a list on CNET.com that has a few different options for people that are facing um, other financial troubles. Some of these resources can help you pay for food or housing or other things like that that you may need. So I will leave a link for that in the description below as well. That's on CNET.com and you'll have to scroll down to the article a little bit, but you can find the part where it's, it's talking about um, if you need additional assistance. So I wanna talk now about the first stimulus check. There's some new information that was recently released, a few, a few key things. First off, if you are a non-filer and do not file taxes and are not required to file taxes, you must fill out the non-filers tool before October 15th. After October 15th, you may not use the non-filers tool to fill out your information and you'll just have to wait for the IRS to find you. So if you haven't used the non-filers tool, and you haven't received your first stimulus check, please use the non-filers tool before October 15th. If you have dependent children and you have not used the non-filers tool yet, the deadline is even sooner. You have to use the non-filers tool by September 30th to receive that uh, stimulus payment for your dependent children. If you already use the non-filers tool once, you do not need to use it again. The IRS has said that if you use the non-filers tool and you did not receive your $500 credit for your children, that they are sending out payments for those $500 credits if you did not already receive them. So if you have child dependents, 
you use the non-filers tool already, the IRS should be sending out those payments and it sounds like they'll be sending them out in September. So if you didn't receive your $500 credit for your dependents, watch for those in September. In addition to this, this news came out recently. For those of you that had back child support taken because not because of you, but because one of, or basically one of the spouses has back child support that they owe, but the other spouse did not. Many people had their entire stimulus check for both spouses taken. And the IRS is going to be sending out 50,000 stimulus checks to those individuals that had their back child support taken. And I will leave a link to this information on the IRS website in the description below as well. But just know that if you had your stimulus check taken for back child support, and it shouldn't have been because it was maybe your spouse that, had, that owed the back child support, but they took the full $2,400 for both of you because you filed jointly, the IRS should be sending you back the $1,200 that was owed for one of you where they shouldn't have taken all $2,400. This isn't going to affect a whole bunch of people, but it did affect about 50,000 people in the US. So just be aware that if that happened, there's a good chance that the IRS will be sending you that $1,200 stimulus check for, uh, that was taken incorrectly. Continue to check the Get My Payment tool as all of these different payments that are going to be going up, the, there will be updates on the Get My Payment tool. So also you can always call the IRS 1-800-919-9835 if you haven't received the first stimulus check. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon.